Hello. In today's quick grammar tips for OET, we're going to look at be going to future and future simple. Now, be going to future is used when we explain an intention or a procedure to the patient before we actually do it. And future simple is used to express decisions made at the moment of speaking for an offer of help or predictions. So let's look at some examples. Let's see this dialogue. Good morning, Mr. Smith. How are you today? Good morning, nurse. I'm a bit better today. That's good news. Mr. Smith, it's 10 o'clock and I'm going to take you to the radiology department. It's time for your x-ray. All right? Okay, nurse. Do you think you'll be able to walk there, Mr. Smith? Oh, nurse, I don't think so. I'm still a bit weak. Don't worry, I'll bring you a wheelchair. I'll be back in a minute. So if we are to look at this conversation, we're going to see that the nurse used I'm going to take because he or she wants to let the patient know of their intention of doing something. And I'll bring you a wheelchair is a decision make at the moment of speaking. Now, the main difference between be going to future and future simple is that in the case of be going to future, the decision has already been made, okay? So you're just going to the patient to inform them or you know how to do a certain procedure and you're just explaining the steps, but you've already made the decision of doing that procedure or of doing that uh, activity. Now, for future simple, the decision hasn't been made yet. You are making the decision at the moment of speaking because of the context. So, um, for example, when you explain a procedure, you can say, first, I'm going to insert the needle. Don't worry, it's just like a mosquito bite. Uh, and then I'm going to, and you can even have this as a task uh, at home. Um, you can describe the procedure of taking a blood sample. And we have another dialogue. Yes, John, I can see you've rang the buzzer. Nurse, I'm a bit thirsty. Oh, don't worry, John, I'll get you some water. So... In this case, the decision was made on the spot, okay? Um, if you make the decision in advance and you just go and inform the patient or you know the steps of the procedure, you can use be going to future. But if you're making the decision, uh, if you make the decision at the moment of speaking, then you would use future simple. Okay, guys, that's the tip for today. See you in the next video. Hello and thank you for watching this video. I'm Valentina Popescu and I'm an official OET preparation provider. I run VP Model for the Languages here in the UK and we have a special program dedicated to overseas nurses which is called Be a Nurse. Now, besides this program, we have a free Facebook support group, we have our students support group, we have a membership academy where monthly you get access to loads of materials, videos and articles um, to help you get prepared. And we also run challenges. In May and October, we run the OET writing challenge and in June and November, we run the OET speaking challenge. You spend four weeks with me, you can even have one-to-one -one sessions with me and you can get to ask me anything. We go through all the techniques and tips and tricks uh, to help you succeed first time because we do have 100% success rate in writing, in speaking, in the exam. So if you want to learn more about us, uh, just visit vplanguages.com or check us out on Facebook. I hope to talk to you soon and thank you again for taking the time to watch this video.